Okay, so here we have our canopy. I've cut this out. Uh, it comes in a, in a sort of a pre-formed piece and you need to use a knife to cut out this shape here and just cut all around the edges to make up the canopy. And then also there is a large black plastic piece which you cut the screen out of and then this needs to be stuck onto our white canopy and it basically it sticks on. Let's see if I can get this about right, kind of like that. And that creates our black screen. And you just use contact glue, spray contact glue to glue that into the canopy and then there's some little screws provided with the kit to hold that in place. Okay, so uh, I've masked my canopy ready for spraying with contact adhesive. Uh, I've also mounted the grommets for the canopy. You must do this first because when you put this screen on, you can no longer get at them. So uh, put those in first. So I'm now going to spray this up with uh, contact adhesive and install the black screen. Okay, and there we have the black screen installed using uh, contact adhesive and I've still got to clean this up having used the spray glue because it tends to get everywhere but uh, that needs to dry really before I get to task on cleaning it up uh, and then I can put the little screws in around the screen that will hold it in place. Okay I've now put the screws into the canopy to hold the screen on, one there, one there one at the top, one down there and two exactly the same positions on the other side. Uh, this still needs cleaning up, still got uh, contact glue all over it unfortunately. Okay and here we have the canopy completed. I've cleaned it up and uh, applied the various decals and uh, as you can see that's our complete uh, canopy. Okay and just to finish off there's the canopy mounted on the model. Something to just be aware of is that you do have to cut a couple of little slots in the bottom here where the canopy butts up against the frames uh, in order to get the canopy on far enough to get the canopy posts onto the grommets at the back there. I've put a set of blades on now and basically the models ready for radio setup and then made in flight.